After 12 small improvements, the integrity of the CFM and pressure between the air compressor and the nozzle has been preserved as much as possible. Your system should now be reaping the rewards of your optimizations. But wait, before we continue with more recommendations, there's one thing we must insist on, measuring your pressure at the nozzle. Remember our previous advice regarding blast pot timers, that which gets measured gets managed. The only way we're going to know for sure whether we're blasting at optimal pressure is to actually measure our pressure. And the most important place to start is at the nozzle. Should this measurement not yield 100 PSI or above, we can then investigate and measure these three key areas to determine where we're losing our precious flow and pressure. Testing your pressure is very simple with one of these nozzle pressure test kits. Although we are testing pressure at the nozzle, for safety reasons, we advise actually taking this reading six to 10 feet or a couple meters behind the blaster. Effectively, it will be the same pressure as long as you take it through the whip hose. Now this recommendation may seem trite, but why spend so much time optimizing and possibly upgrading your system without certainty it's providing the results you've been aiming for? Performance 3 largely depends on optimizing our flow and pressure. You should be checking daily before your team leans into their workload to ensure you've provided them the best setup to succeed on your behalf. Went to a job site where I was the week prior, got them all set up, everything was dialed in to 120 PSI coming out of the blast pot, 110 PSI at the nozzle. Everything was great. We're there the next week to check up how things were going and they're down to 80 PSI at the nozzle. Nothing had changed. I walked around with a needle gauge trying to figure out where was this pressure being lost. Finally found that an inlet ball valve to the blast pot wasn't all the way open. It was partially closed and that was their pressure loss. That's why it's so important to check it every day. Measuring daily not only helps them do their job better, it'll help your profitability and industry reputation. 